adventure you're about to see is based on a true portrayal of outer space and could actually happen to a puppet come alive. Remember now, the puppet you turned into a boy. Mm -hmm. Where's Pinocchio now, daughter? There he is, far below, the most remarkable puppet on Earth. Good morning. This is the International Space Station mock-up where the astronauts do their actual training. There are four and a half million twins living in the U.S., but there's actually only one pair of identical twin astronauts, Scott and Mark Kelly. Now as NASA looks towards the possibility of a three-year-long round trip to Mars sometime in the future, the Kelly brothers have become crucial into understanding what the long-term effects of living in zero gravity are for the human body. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to go about finding out what it is. I only know that when wired into the central circuits, the robot claimed to be an able-bodied spaceman second class named Kelly. Tests show he was telling the truth. When brought in, he was incoherent. I'm afraid I damaged him in removing the unit. Evidently, they found a way to transplant memory. We checked him through the Bureau of Identification. There is or was a spaceman named Kelly. This robot's fingerprints and retinal patterns check with those on file for the man. Well, if they duplicated this Kelly, do you suppose they killed him? This robot even had a simulated heartbeat and respiration. But why? Why put these unnecessary functions in a robot? He thought those actions were necessary for him to live. Can't you see, this one thought he was a man. When we convinced him he was a robot, he ceased to function and became that senseless hulk standing there. You say he was incoherent when he was brought in? Yes, as though affected by psychosis or alcohol. His memory seems sketchy, disoriented. How could this occur in a mid 90? I think it was a botched job. And we better find out if there are any good ones around.
We do know that in addition to the congresswoman, there were several others shot, and of course we don't know whether they were members of her staff, whether they were simply uh, bystanders at the supermarket at w as well. But what we do know this afternoon is that Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, a Democrat of the 8th District of Arizona, that is uh, in Tucson, Arizona, has been shot, taken to the hospital. We are unsure what her condition is at this hour. I do want to turn to my colleague David Curley in Washington, who has reported on the Congresswoman and her husband before, because her husband uh, is very involved with NASA. And in fact, David, as you point out, he was scheduled to be on the next shuttle mission. He is still scheduled to be the commander of the next shuttle mission, which is to be the last shuttle mission set to go up in April. His name is Mark Kelly. He has a twin brother who is up in space right now. Scott Kelly is the commander of the space station right now. Uh, there was a chance that these two men were going to be the twins, the first blood relatives in space together. Uh, Mark Kelly and Scott Kelly, great guys, uh, spent some time with them down at uh, NASA last year, um, and uh, he's been married to the congresswoman for a while now, um, so he has to be having a, a very difficult time at this point. fascinating experiment. Indeed. Can't wait to see what happens. Absolutely. And they do. I know twins look alike, but those guys look oh. so much alike. Without the, the mustache, it would be hard to tell them apart. Very hard to tell. Nice. This emergency session is hereby dispersed. Report to your various committees and evaluate this most startling development.